I am standing inside 917, half of the Carnahan. This is the main staircase coming in. That's the main door outside. Sometimes people ask me what the inside looks like. There's a tenant right there. Then up at the top of the stairs, apartment B and apartment A. Today we're looking at apartment A. When I first got this, uh, of course the whole building was gutted. It sat empty for about 10 years. This was a studio apartment. That opening that you see right there was actually a wall, and this was the entire apartment. This one room that I'm standing in right here. Uh, we've since turned it into a two-story, two-bedroom townhouse with exposed brick walls, remodeled bathrooms, it's gorgeous. So this is your living room. The ceilings here are ridiculous. Very tall, saying that darkened out like that. So, we laid these hardwood floors, and I think in 2012, 2013, it is an all-electric unit. Here's one of the electric heaters. I will tell you right now that the, uh, the heat is not a problem here. Every tenant who's ever lived here tells me that they just turn the heat off in the winter. Uh, air conditioning, that's what's necessary. This is a big brick building with tons of insulation. You don't even need heat. All right, this kitchen, we had a six foot by six foot space. This is a miracle of modern engineering. It's got a full size refrigerator. It's got a full size stove. We built this little bar, reminiscent of like the ones in the Macbeth. You pull your bar stool up right here. When Mr. Wonderful's over here making you dinner, pasta, you sit right here with your glass of wine. Uh, very nice. It's double base sink. And when I get inside the kitchen, this is a very social, very social kitchen. All right. So, beautiful hardwood floors. When we opened this up, we exposed this brick wall. And I'll show you some more of that as we go up. These stairs did not used to exist. Uh, this was a hallway from a different spot. We built those stairs. Bathroom. Ceramic tile. The Euro sink. It is a very nice, big, wide, modern stand-up shower. It is not a tub. You cannot stew in your own juices. I'm really sorry about that. Nice bathroom. All right, up the stairs. These stairs, like I said, they didn't exist. Uh, this handrail right here, along with this banister, we found it in a dumpster around the time we were redoing this. I mean, what a find. Somebody just threw that away. And so we incorporated it into this when we, re when we just created these. Here, you can see where the floor was. This was the floor joists. And here's somewhere we just, you know, the floor joists came all the way out. Uh, so exposed brick. I mean, those are the original floor joists. 1883 is when the Carnahan was built. All right, so you get up to this level. There's your exposed brick going down. There's the rest of your stairs going up. This is the attic. You have an attic. It's about 10 by 10. It is not insulated. Uh, right now, it is very, very warm. It's summertime. In the winter, it's cool. But it's a 10 by 10 storage. So if you've got a storage locker somewhere, consider that a savings. All right, heading on up the stairs. There's two bedrooms up here. First is off to the side here. This is a nice, large bedroom, wooden floors. Big bedroom. Now, here's what I'm going to say. See how this wall get this this uh, wall gets smaller right here? I'm about five foot nine, maybe five foot ten, six two in stiletto heels, but that's only when I have my RuPaul uh, impersonation suit on. I I can stand here. Uh, if you're six foot, you can't stand all the way at the end. However, that's where the head of your bed goes. You're not going to stand up on your bed anyway. There's your window. Nice closet. Nice big closet. Kind of a walk-in here. Well, a reach-in, let's call it. Um, this bedroom absolutely could have a big king-size bed in it. No worries. This bedroom is gargantuan. Let me step back here. Um, I don't even know. 30 feet across? 25, 30 feet across? This is, if you're ever on the front of the Carnahan, you see that little round window all the way up? That's it right there. You got this nice little alcove with the ledge. 
This was the attic. We just built this space into it. Huge, big, massive room. You've got exposed brick over there. This has two closets. The first is right here. Oh, Anderson. Well, oh, there we go. There's your first closet. And the second closet is over here behind the door. So Mr. Wonderful can have his own little walk-in closet. Isn't that great? Once again, there's your brick. This bedroom is gargantuan. I can't even explain how big this thing is. Um, what a neat bedroom. I mean, just fantastic. I've had couples use this as their living room. Use that one over there as their bedroom. And then downstairs living room, use it as the dining room. And this becomes a two-story, incredible one-bedroom house or one-bedroom apartment. All right, I'm going to head back down. So we had the gargantuan bedroom here with all the cool lines and exposed brick. We had a very large bedroom here. Everything's pre-wired. You have these beautiful stairs coming down. We built all of this. This None of this existed. There's your stairs. Right there is your little attic space. Probably about 10 by 10. Oh, this is the railing. We found this thing in the dumpster. It's just amazing what people throw away. Uh, they just don't understand. Once again, I'm coming back down the stairs. Got the exposed brick all to the side of me. This is the kind of an apartment that you want your friends to know you live in. There's the bathroom again. Nice ceramic. Remember, it is electric heat. You don't really use it, though. Uh, nice big living room. Beautiful hardwood floors. This has been apartment A in the Carnahan. We're on Westbury Street. There's the effect. There's Sheridan Court. Here's Westbury Street. This is gorgeous. Um, apartment A. It's a two-story, two-bedroom. It's an all-electric unit, electric hot water, electric heat, electric stove. It's 917 Westbury. Thank you for spending some time with my video walkthrough.